Alright everybody, this is going to be part two. I decided I'm going to keep going. Split this into two parts. Since there's been a bit that's gone on here, but as so you can see, all the uh, railroad ties and stuff and the new gates lie over. That was one of my bigger projects I did this year, around here. Got rid of all that crappy old wood windbreak and put up new continuous paneling and uh, with uh, the railroad ties so it's heavy duty that stuff should outlast me now the uh, continuous paneling is galvanized so it will not rust um, I uh, cut it out to go around the new drinker here this is a Balint country it's the extreme weather version um, it's got an infrared heater underneath the drinker bowl the whole entire length and up the sides and uh it we've had some awfully cold nights here in the past couple weeks and uh it has not even come close to freezing up once it gets a nice ice cap around it from the cow slobbering water all over the place but it has not frozen up yet which the old one that we had in here would have um put a 12 foot gate right here find it right there and then uh down at the very end, down there right next to the building, there's a 12 foot gate down there also. Because at some point here, um, can't see it now, it's a lot of crap. Which I means there's a lot of crap and frost and ice here, but I gotta I put some pipes in here just like down there. Um, I'm gonna eventually take and put a uh, fence from the center of the drinker over to there so I can have two sides. And, um, and at some point too maybe from this building here down to the fence down there so I can have another smaller corral down there for bulls or whatever whatever might come up when it comes time to separate all them because they gotta get the horses separated too they can't be in with the cows when I'm feeding because the cubes that feed at Rumensen and Rumensen is fatal to horses so anyways that's that um, I, uh, we were in Bismarck yesterday doing some Christmas shopping and stuff, so I picked up some more parts. I got this old 14-foot gate here. This is a 14-foot span right here. Um, you can see I put this big railroad tie in. Um, stretch this out a little bit more. Yes, I'm using a selfie stick. It works way better than holding it with your arm. But anyways... I'm gonna mount it to that gate um, and then my working system is gonna be right here. Eventually I'd like to have my working system on the inside at some point. Um, realistically what I really absolutely love and it's gonna be kind of a dream but those little old Sioux bins there's three of them there. Um, I want to tear all those down sometime. Actually what I might do I've seen them on the internet you take and you cut them in half then you bought them up to each other and bolt them together and you put an, an end on one end you can make calf shelters out of them i might do that and then there's in that building where that truck is at there's a bunch of old rafters in there i can't remember i think they're about 30 feet long i want to build a working barn over here so i just have a designated working barn um and also a load out in there because right now in order to load my cows out, we gotta come through the main gate over there, drive through the snow, back up here to load my cows out. And it's, it works, don't get me wrong, it's a pain, but it works, and we got her done. Um, luckily when I sold calves, it was dirt yet, um, bare dirt, and uh, that wasn't too bad in this or earlier this week when I held those <clears throat> opens down. This snow was just really fluffy, so we were able to drive right through it. So there's no big deal at all to get through it either. But <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> a few things going on. Um, I stacked, you've probably seen in the previous video, but scooped all my manure this summer and put in a pile over there. It's shrinking down. I really need to get in there and turn it. Um, stir it up so it keeps shrinking, but I don't really have time for that right now. And the bucket and the the grab on my tractor are in pretty tough shape from last winter yet. 
I need to do some work on that sometime. Get some steel for it. Um, another project I'm going to do, my cube feeder, cake feeder, whatever you guys call it or wherever you're from. Um, I'm gonna get some steel and I'm gonna build a three point mount for the back of my tractor. So I can put it on there and feed with that. Um, instead of, uh, well right now I'm just dumping it out of the back of the pickup and the feeder into buckets and uh, hauling it out that way. But that way all I gotta do is start one vehicle because pretty soon I'm gonna be just running the feeder out there dumping in the buck the, the bunks which is a better way to do it I feel um, and uh, it it's just easier but I'll put it on the back of the track so that way all I gotta do is drive out there and dump it and go snowballs. you're playing with snowballs yeah can you say hi say hi say hi it's oh it's just snow can I just throw another one? don't throw it at your sister don't throw it at your sister. What? Don't throw it at your sister. I won't. I bet. But anyways, um, not too much going on. I can show you this quick. I built this this summer too. Um, it's a. I had it on Instagram, but it's a three-point double barrel spear. It's a tractor. Say hi. Hi, Sam. Say hi again. Hi. Hi. <laughs> but anyways, it worked out pretty good. It's um, two big grass bales packed tight together. They're a little much for the little Kubota. Um, there's some different settings and stuff on the three-point arms. I got them, I think, as heavy as it goes. I think there might be one more setting I can go to lift a little more, but where it was at before, I wouldn't lift two of them. Changed the setting once and I got it sort of lifted, barely, but it, it gets the job done, so. Anyways, everybody, um, like I said, I just wanted to do a bit of an update video. Um, let you know where we're at, we're still alive. Things are still getting along. It's gonna be time to get that thing off the trailer pretty soon and tear it up. Unfortunately, I got to ride it in October to check cows and stuff in the middle of the blizzard, which wasn't a whole lot of fun, but that snow all melted, disappeared, um, thankfully, and we had all kinds of record-setting flooding and stuff, and man, come spring, it's going to be an absolute mess around here. And we had 30 inches of snow, 27, 30 inches of snow around here. We had 5 inches of rain, well, was it two or three weeks before that? There's water in places that there's never been water ever. Um, the governor toured the state. Um, had a couple meetings one day. Um, I think they stopped in Jamestown, Fargo, Grand Forks, and they came here and had a town hall meeting in our local town where I work. Um, so I got to go to that, and they flew in, and on their way in, they got to see a bunch of hay sitting underwater. So it ain't no joke around here. Um, it sucks and come spring it's gonna be nasty um, there's still people trying to combine corn and there's still a bunch of soybeans out in the field standing in snow um, guys are combining corn it just won't dry down for them there's dryers going everywhere um, I'm sure a lot of people heard about the propane shortage that finally went away so guys are able to get propane again but man it was a tough go for a while there's been a lot of a lot of people having a rough time and uh, Luckily, everybody around here is so far pulling through. Um, it's uh, taking its toll on, on farmers. <clears throat> so, luckily, I don't have that problem, but it's uh, one of my pastures is kind of sort of underwater. Um, yet, and the water is actually still running through the creek over there. But it's, uh, it's going to be interesting come spring, that's for sure. We're going to have to either put pontoons on the sprayer or tracks or just wait it out like everybody else is going to be doing because there ain't going to be no going early. Right now, we're, a lot of guys are talking. They'll be lucky if they're going in the field by middle to end of May. So it's not going to be Easter this year like normal. It's 
gonna be more like end of May, maybe even early June before we get in the fields, which is unfortunate, but we'll get it done. I always do. Um, you know, it's it sucks, but Lord willing, it it happens one way or another. Things get done. So everybody, uh, I will let you go. This one's a little bit longer. The first video, part one, has got kind of lengthy, a little long-winded. Um, so anyways everybody take care hope you have a good christmas uh happy new year's um and uh, um, yeah take care everybody thanks for watching hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up if you haven't i sure would appreciate it um youtube sees that and we get a little recognition and stuff and whatnot so Take care, everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas, and catch you all later.